Focus back on the window. Now I'm on to Discworld 2. The Grim Rincewind Mortality Bites Missing Presumed. Whatever it is you call it, it's still a pretty interesting game to play. I, th I think it kind of holds up after all these years. I already did like a test playthrough. I don't need that window open anymore. Uh, game options, lower game, save this game, read sound, uh, subtitles, display subtitles, yeah. Voice volume. Uh, looks like my voice may be a little bit loud according to OBS, but I can't really, won't really know until I listen to it back in, in a while. So, a little background story, first take a sip of Diet Shasta. <laughs> um, there used to be a game store called Die Hard Game Club. Uh, they had to change their name because apparently Sears had the trademark on the word Die Hard. And it was, it was a game store. You'd get in stuff all over, like a lot of PS games, and sometimes you get some Japanese games. It's where I actually was able to finally get a hold of a copy of Mega Man The Wily Wars, and then I had to go out and buy a, a, a cart. Why is April grabbing the, uh... How do I turn this off? I'm trying to figure out how to turn off the 8-bit do. There's a way to do it, so that April's not grabbing it constantly. Alright, so here I go. Turn... Go to Google. Turn... Off... 8-bit... There. Uh, I just need to press the start and hold it for, for something, but you can see in the video. The button you would like to deactivate the turbo, then press. Okay. Um. Power up, but press and start for three seconds. Okay. One, two, three. Ah, it's off. So April should stop. There. <laughs> April is still grabbing the controller that I had set off to the side while I was playing Mega Man Maker last week. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm walking around the store and I'm like, at that time in my life, you know, this was back when you just couldn't just download these things. That wouldn't be for like another few years. Yes, I am that old. <laughs> that old. I was like, man, do I really want to spend 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars on a game that I don't like? I mean, I, I know my mom was pretty disappointed in um, that one game that came out. Uh, that one that was like uh, Secret of Mana, but wasn't. I forgot the name of it. I'll remember at some point. Because she didn't like it. I didn't like Nobody liked it. It wasn't anywhere, nowhere near as fun as Chrono Trigger was. And we got that instead of Secret of Mana 3. Now, anyway, I'm looking at the back of Discworld. I like point and click, kind of like Maniac Mitch. Oh! Eric Idol! Yes! Eric Idol! Okay, I gotta give this a try. I mean, I had never really watched much of Monty Python, but I did see Monty Python and the Holy Grail before that, but I was like, okay, I, I gotta give this a try. And, and I'm glad I did. Oh! And also Transformers the movie. Ba weep grana weep ninny bong. Alright, so I'm gonna go up to a new game. New game? There we go. Officer, I'm not under the affluence of alcohol. And he had uh, some kind of animal, I think. Possibly, it was a humorously shaved vegetable. One of the things I, I want to do is actually record this without any music and sound effects, and reprocess his voice for a voice changer. <laughs> I don't know. I can't 
remember the words. They were really, really... No, in another life, I swear I was a thing called a motorcycle. What is that word? And a junkyard. Something that's clever and short. Damn, it's, it's, it's like what you make helmets out of. <laughs> Kevlar? Oh, tin? I can't say that a phrase of mine was tinny. Ironic, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pithy. That's the word. The thong was you know, I'm just really, really amazed at what they did with the graphics in this. It's like 95? 96? Especially a very big change from the previous in game. The donkey cart park. <laughs> no, it was something. Let's go and see. <laughs> no, it's not dangerous. It's the start of the game. That can't kill us off yet. Come on, trust me. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is look. Uh, oh! That was what a round a button on us, huh? I think I can dismantle it. Uh. Nearly a catastrophe. <laughs> Don't sweat it, pal. We've got nine minutes and seven seconds left. <laughs> you know what we could do? We could drive this thing out of here. <laughs> oh, damn. No donkey. Oh, you could pull it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Looks like we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I wonder how these graphics worked. Uh, couldn't be simpler. Oh, I'm I mean, they, they, they're, they're doing the it pretty simple. Flask. Like they're repeating this from Maybe before. <laughs> Let's turn the green flask then. It's <laughs> just a hunch. Remember the time in the high energy facility when I turned the yellow flask and blew everything up? <laughs> right, so I'm turning the red flask then. <laughs> what? Did I say green? Well, I meant red. Look, we can do it your way. If you... <laughs> Look, I'm sure, okay? You yeah, I was ready? popping my knuckles and I was not paying I attention in there. <laughs> Bounce oh, the mic. I'm turning the flask. There, you see? Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Is that Fat Cat from Rescue Rangers, or... What was that cat's name from Inspector Gadget? Mad Cat. Oops. <laughs> well, the animation budget's increased at least. But of course that's a good thing. It means they haven't spent as much on plot, doesn't it? They've probably halved the number of insane object puzzles for a start. <clears throat> Sorry. I mean, clever, natural thinking exercises, of course. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I've been through this sort of thing before. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go through that song. It, it plays again. It, it, they, they use the ending theme as the opening theme, and they just pretty much... These are the credits to the game right here. So, There's uh... A place you're always welcome. Escape. I'm gonna let these cutscenes play. But when it comes to walking around and talking to people, I'm gonna try to keep that to a minimum as much as possible. And fellow wizards. Here's looking at your bottom. As a matter of fact, now's a good time to go to the bathroom. Pull the other one. It's got strange knobbly bits on. Happy Hogs Watch Day. Thank you. Uh, uh, colleagues, we are gathered here today for the final departure party of our dear, soon to be departed comrade, the wizard Windle Poons. Hooray! Good old Windle, don't forget to ghost right. Three, two, one. Zero! What? Nothing. That's it. I hope. Right, everybody. Our funeral at 2.30, then drinks and ham rolls in the main hall at 3. Hey, 
Peter! Oh, what's happening? Call this service, do you? I'm dead, I am! I demand to be taken away to a better life, as per contract! Oi, things were different in my day. You died properly, not like the deaths you get nowadays. Uh, he, 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 he says he's not dead. I am dead, but I'm still bloody ambulatory. No, you're not. You're fooling no one but yourself, you know. Hmm, well, he, he looks dead. <laughs> Smells dead, of course. He always did, though. And I suppose my word doesn't count for anything around here. I can't be dead if I'm still talking, now can I? Look, old chap, it's our considered professional view that you are an extinct wizard. Your opinion doesn't count because you're dead. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, I suppose I'll just sit here then, shall I? I suppose it takes a while. So, um, how is death, um, actually? See any, um, white lights, you know, tunnels, girls with harps? Oh, yes, please. I'll take two. No! Uh, if this is heaven, I wish I'd done wicked things when I was alive. What's happening to me? Uh, well, it, it seems that your body's dead. But your soul's still in... well, in residence. Well, I'm not hanging about here for the rest of my afterlife. I've had a hard life, Arts Chancellor. I'm entitled to a bit of paradise. I've read about it. Young women and wine and whatnot. Look, your life's over. You're not supposed to moan about it. And definitely not supposed to contemplate any... Any... Uh, what not? Uh, who's responsible for this? Where's death, then? This is outrageous. You, you, you can't have a soul hanging about a deceased body like that. Why not? It's unhygienic. Yeah, there's, there's food laid out. We can't have him near the nibbles. The health inspectors will be on to us. Yes, yes, good point. Now, compose yourself, Windle. You can't decompose here. I shall have to ask you to move along. Oh, comes to something when a man can't even drop stone dead in peace. Eternal rest, eternal rest, is it? Well, I'm not going to take this lying down. I'm off to find myself a nice shallow grave. There's been too much of this sort of thing lately. Rincewind? Rincewind! Yeah. Uh. Ah, Rincewind. There you are. Now, as you're aware, there have been some very odd goings on in this city of late. I am referring, of course, to the sudden disappearance of death. Dying? Oh, they're dying, but their souls aren't being taken away. They're dead and alive at the same time, and now it's happened to poor Windle. Death's gone, and we need to summon him back. So, uh, here you go. We need to perform the rites of Ashkent. I suppose you have a list of mysterious ingredients that I now have to run off and collect. What? How did you know that? I just had a dreadful suspicion. All right, so what have we got to find? Well, it, it's a rush job, so just the bare minimums will do. We need three equal-sized sticks of wood and four cc's of mouse's blood. It shouldn't take you more than a few minutes. Bet anyone? Um... What is it now? Let's just say that, uh, we needed more than the bare minimums. And not to say that I'm questioning your judgment, I'm just, uh, planning for the future, is all. Well, the rest is all just flash and style. This is a death rite, after all. You know the routines. 
A bit of sparkle and glitter in the air, vile Charles stench erupting from the tomb, and lovely dribbly candles. That sort of thing. None of which we'll need at all. That's right. Just the wood and the mouse's blood. There never seems to be any way of getting a decent moment's rest around this place. Act One. The right stuff. Seems like every time I touch the mic, <laughs> or to put my hands anywhere near it, it just pops and stuff. Okay. So I'll just take this one area at a time. I can't go... I don't know if I can go into the garden just yet. Do anything there. I need a alcohol-infused corn, a magnet, and a bottle. Uh, I was just there. I don't need to be there. energy facility. Uh, I can skip. Hey, ma'am. You've, like, broken it now. All the ants have run away. Hey. You've, like, debugged it. out of here. Um, not gonna go to the egg uh, there. Uh, I can't again look at a couple of things in here. Oh, pick would be nice. Pretty much just pick everything up. Uh, he's gonna come across window here. Ah! Ha ha! Another one! Go find your own grave, you rotten fool! Window? Window? Gad! That's my private name. Ah, oh, you still remember, lad? Oh, great days they were! Great days! Life? You don't know what life is until you're dead. It was great, all that breathing and walking around in the fresh air. Oh, I tell you, if I had my time all over again, I wouldn't reincarnate. So, uh, how are you adjusting then? Oh, I'll never get used to this grave, I'll tell you. The walls are so thin. All you can do here is lie around and listen to what the neighbours say. So, what's it like? Being dead, I mean. Oh, I've had enough of it. The hours are too long for a start. Here, keep the wretched dead and alive hole. Wait, what am I supposed to do with a grave? Use it as a small swim pool, huh? I can't swim. <laughs> I never said you had to fill it with water, did I? Yikes and away! Right, well, it looks like I have a real mission then. I either restore death to his rightful place, or else we'll be up to our armpits in gaunt, dark-eyed young gothic girls dressed in black, all pretending that they can quote romantic poetry. Actually, that doesn't sound bad at all. Nah. Onward! Just gotta kind of look at this, I think. Something I, I don't know here. what I need to do. All right. Um, can't get the stuff in the net just yet. I need uh, clippers. It's a bricker air it is. Good idea. Oh. I guess I get it. Great God! 
No, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. But you're dead. You quit life stage. You're resting. Chucky wants to be the ghost of old York's past. Being dead is grand. Look, we even get flowers. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Why is it everyone else toddles off to heaven or hell and you two get to hang around here? Chucky, 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 Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. I'm stuck. Stuck, stuck, stucky. You can't leave. I mean, you're dead, but not gone before. You're haunting. No, death hasn't come for us yet. Left us floating here, he did. Chucky can't leave the guild all stones and mortar. Not even for sures. Sures? What's sures? Oh, a pint of lager and roast boar crisp, thanks. Oh, Chucky, 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 Chucky. You're right. You are the ghost of old jokes. Now look. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cohen. Cohen who? Cohen, answer the door. Oh, Chucky, 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 Chuck, 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 Chuck. You know, the uh, first French fries were not fried in France. They were fried in Greece. <sighs> no. If we had to have a character from the past, what happened to that nice Amazon lady? Maybe I can throw his haunted rocks into the middle of a sewer or something. Let's see him laugh that one off. All right, let's... Clean this out. Now, pay attention. <laughs> attention, yes. You said that you have to haunt the stones and mortar of the guild. Guild, yes. Well, is there any reason why you have to stay here? I mean, if the stones are moved, then you can move with them. You could just hop into one of the rocks and I could take you somewhere more interesting. Interesting, yes. Are you listening to me? No. Ho, ho, chucky, 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 chucky. Just get into the damn stone. Ho, ho, chucky, chucky, chucky. Try to minimize the amount of wandering shop. No one knows why, but all the most truly same guy you did the narration in the last in the uh, one, two from flowers. shops that appear and after a trading life even briefer than a double glazing company's vanish like smoke. They can turn up wherever there's a suitable stretch of blank wall, but once there, they have always been there. Dust and grime and a general worn look instantly dispel any doubts in the minds of people who may have walked down that same street every day for a year without noticing it. There are three general theories to explain the phenomenon of wandering shops. One, many thousands of years ago, there evolved somewhere in the multiverse a race whose single talent was to buy cheap and sell dear. Two. They are the creation of a sympathetic oh, they fate, Ferengi? charged with the role of supplying exactly the right thing at the right time. Three, they are simply a very clever way oh. of getting around the hey, various uh, Sunday pharmacist. closing acts. All these theories have two things in common. They explain the known facts and they are completely and utterly wrong. First. Hey there, Your Highness. And aren't you a pretty little girl? I'm not a little girl. I'm a powerful and dignified magician. Why are you dressed up as a princess, then? I most certainly am not. You've got a tall, pointy hat. All princesses have tall, pointy hats. Look, it's not... And a you dress. You've got, like, a low, a pointy chin. pointy hat and a dress. That's a princess in my book. So how do you explain the beard, then, eh? I, I thought that was just probably your peasant blood, dear. A lot of men find a bit of hair sultry and attractive. I wish a lot of women did. I can't really see that this shop serves any valid social purpose at all. It all seems like a total waste of resources. Well, that's nice coming from a princess. Look, for the last time, I am not a princess. OK, Your Highness. Why is Rincewind's text green and not red? Look, all joking apart, what are you selling? Well, Your Highness, this here is an adventure shop. 
It has all the marvelous things people need when they decide that their main calling in life is to find a hole in the ground, collect some friends, and then go delving into the underground, armed only with swords, rope, ten-foot poles, halberds, six torches, and a flask of oil. Good gracious! And is there actually much of a demand for this? No. It's all collectible trading cards these days. Dim wick, the smothering. It's taken all the fun out of the business. <laughs> I can't even shift magic items anymore. Magic items? What, elven cloaks, magic swords, boots of speed, that kind of thing? That's the stuff. We don't really stock the boots anymore, though. We did have boots of domination, but a female barbarian already bought up those. Anyway, do have a browse, Your Highness, and let me know if there's anything you want. Yeah, and he just... That looks nice. Can I have it, then? Certainly. What? No mumbo-jumbo? No sudden insistence that I go on a special quest or anything? What? Me? Order a princess about? Whatever are you thinking? Yeah, Rince Wind, um, maybe this whole pretending to be a, uh, female may not be so bad after all. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could I possibly have it then? Certainly. Nope, can't reach them. Can yes, Your Royal Highness. Double click. I make them by hand. Well, I would make them by hand, but everyone just uses continual light spells these days. I don't really stock candles anymore. Those are just display models made out of plaster. But you could make me some if you had the chance. Oh, yes, love. I just need you to bring me the raw materials. Now, your grade A candle, that's made from dead whales. We used to use their nasal hairs, but these days a true pure white candle is made from spermaceti. Where does that come from? I never dared ask, love. Anyway, the next best thing is beeswax. Beeswax, right. We used to have a lovely bee milking parlour out the back. The bees insisted it was the only way to get the job done. Every evening, we'd round up the bees and settle them down in little chairs, give them all a new. If you heard something there, that was just me moving to the their mic. Heart's content. Then someone pointed out that all we had to do was open up the hive and scoop out all the wax we want. The little buzzers had been having us on all along. You just can't trust a bee, can you? That's just what I always say, Your Royal Work Highness. Worked by I'll a bee. It. Day. Just what I've always wanted. I don't suppose I can have it then. Why not? It's yours. You only had to ask. I think the uh, writers were having some difficulty with some of this stuff. Like, what the heck are we? How the heck we do all this? And like, uh, let's just give it to once wind in the shop. Okay. I need to get glitter off the, uh, milkmaid. I need to go through the shades. So I'll go back Let's into here. Ah, oh, here we go. No, no provocation at all, we are gonna be... Miss? Uh, are you alright? Should I stop now? No, no, keep it going a little longer. My agent always said I needed more exposure. Good, I got the glitter. I still need the... Mouse blood? Uh... Oh. Oh, hello. And what in the world are you? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's stereo on this. Yes, yes. 
Well, I didn't understand a word of that at all. Sorry. Barkeep, what? I'll have a pint of Winkle's extra flatulent, my good man. Uh, uh, uh? Down here, oi! I said I'll have. Oi, come back oh. here! Don't you know who I am? I am Casenanda, the second greatest lover who ever lived, and the ladder salesman extraordinaire. Come back! Okay, uh, it's been about 30 minutes, so time to call it stop.